Oh wait, I think my uterus just fell out. Oh, there it is. Okay. <clears throat> hey folks, Scott Grove, Dr. Groovy of GroovyMusicLessons.com. Uh, this video has really no significance. <laughs> I'm just putting it on here for anybody who gives a crap about these kind of things. Um, I have an old PV Predator guitar. It's actually called the Predator Axe. And it was um, just another version of the Predator, you know, a step up and better tuners, better hardware, better built and so forth. Um, but this is everything that came on it. This is stock. Okay. So you actually have four single coils. That's the way it was ran. And on that little bitty switch right here, which is right there, that would actually turn this pickup on in conjunction with this one and combine them with, you know, different, um, just on and off for that one. There's actually three positions, so you could have um, an on and off, and then you could do a phase thing. Um, anyway, so... That is that. Master volume, master tone, then the little three-way. One, two, three. Then you get your five-way like a regular strat that keeps that one out of the way until you start flicking this. Um, yeah, you like to flick it. Flick the old bean now and then, hey ladies? <laughs> um, just, and they're amazing sound of pickups. I mean, flip, they're old PVs. Um, Look like lace stuff before lace came out. Anyway, this whole section and this just was not working, and I've tried uh, everything short of just new pickups on it. Um, they just are not firing up for whatever reason. So as I stand here perplexed, I decided to go ahead and take that guitar and make some use out of some other pickups that I had lying around which are the pickups that I had bought off eBay for $25 loaded in the pit guard which came off of one of these guitars the Paul Reed Smith um, SEEG if anybody ever has one of these guitars or even just you don't like the pickups in it that's what a lot of people do if they take the pickups out and sell them real cheap um, I'd like to have those pickups um, if you ever want to sell just the pickups, I'd like to really have those, or if you have the guitars. Um, just one of my favorite straight off the shelf guitars. Of course, this originally came with a white pick guard and flipping um, some kind of pickup covers where you could actually see the pull pieces, but I put the cover pieces over them just to make it look different than what it did because it was so flipping grody. And uh, speaking of grody, which means heinous. <laughs> um, okay, so I got the the PV here and I put those pickups in it. And it's just that sound I love. I love those pickups so much. And other people just hate them so much. But so if you got them, I'm begging you to sell them to me. So I put them in here. And um, there it is. <laughs> so, and I put my FU kitty cat, a little wave thing. This was part of the decal. I just crammed it there. But yeah, some creative coloring, just different color pickup covers and stuff on here. And, but those are, yeah, the pickups from the SEEG. Paul Reed Smith and it only had the master volume and the master tone on the Paul Reed Smith so master volume master tone and some kind of shite um, little God knows what kind of a pot is under there I just crammed it under there stuck a knob on it it's not wired to anything I might turn it into a butt plug dispenser or something at some point but yeah so that's it for now so I took the axe and oh, I had to put the roller 
but that's if you haven't seen one of these. So that was how it was supposed to be. Was like this, you know. So that was the original axe, and you see what they did. And it used to work quite well back in the days, but that one never did. It came here with without anybody telling me there was something wrong, and often people just don't know there's something wrong, you know. Mom selling it out of their kids' bedroom closet when they go off to uh, war or school or fat camp. <laughs> So I just wanted to let you hear this through my amazing camera microphone coming out of your little tiny laptop speakers. And I'll just show you just how swell they are. <laughs> uh, I'm just going into the Fender Concert 2 tube amp right here. Um, I'm not in the music room today because um, I've finally outgrown it. I can't get in the door. <laughs> it's about that way, let me tell you. There's so much crap out here in the rest of the area, which I was not supposed to um, encompass, but I did. So, no, no tricks, just a guitar chord. Right to the little side of the amp. Volume, treble, bass, none of this. There is a little tiny bit of reverb on, and that's it. Nothing else. There it is. But, man, this thing... Uh, I know you don't have to see the guitar when I play, but hell. Um, these pickups, again, I know a lot, so many people have just thrown these away over the years. <laughs> sound good on your end. Um, there's some, definitely something between the $10 camera and your dime size speakers. <laughs> so I just wanted to show my buddies what I did with these pickups that were laying around and beg and plead for anybody to sell me their pickups out of those guitars. Again, the old... They should really bring those guitars back. Again, the Korean PR, the Paul Reed Smith PRS S E E G. They were supposed to be one of their little student model type things there. Um, but I just love those things. There's position one. I'm sorry.
So there you go. That's what it sounds like, and that's what it sounds like uh, with an amplifier with no pedals <laughs> and tubes. So that's it. <clears throat> dig it if you dig it. And um, again, uh, hey, red strap. My wife said, hey, this thing looks like a toy now, the guitar. It's like, well, that's kind of like the idea. <laughs> I got serious axes, and then I got, you know, stuff with a little. Oh, fuck you kitties on it. <laughs> so, um, I love it. It's just, it's hard to beat these USA PVs that you used to be able to buy for ten, <laughs> ten dollars in the garage sale. So that's what I did with that guitar for the people who kept wondering, hey, did you ever get that fixed? Did you ever get that fixed? Did you ever get that fixed? Um, I made it better. <laughs> that's all I did. So I'll hang on to the electronics and screw around with it later, but in the meantime, I just made it sound better than it ever did, so hope you dig it. Meow. <laughs> later.